Hi, I'm Mike Schmitz here with Elijah Clarence of the Swedish Under-20 National Team. Uh, we're here at the Under-20 European Championships in Chemnitz, Germany. Uh, just had a you know a tough loss, but you've opened some eyes so far this tournament. You know, with your explosiveness, getting to the rim. Um, what is your role on this team? Just to be aggressive, be a playmaker. Um, just make sure I'm evolving my, my teammates and attack mode all the time. For people who maybe don't know much about you, what can you tell us about your background? You know, where, where you're from, how long you've been playing basketball? I'm from Malmo, Sweden, in a place called Nidala. Um, I've been playing basketball for around nine years, and yeah. So when did you move to the States? When I was 16. Okay. I'm, nine, I'm 20 right now. And what was the thought process, or why did, why did your, you know, was it your whole family that moved, just you? No, I just moved by myself. Um, Basketball is the best in, in the States, and I wanted to achieve my dreams to go over there and play basketball. So someone recruited you for high school from Sweden then? Correct. San Maria Goretti. Okay. Um, and what about your family background? What can you tell us about that? Um, I got two great parents. Um, kind of grew up with my mom since my mom and dad divorced, so, um, you know, yeah, that's, that's about it. So your mom is Swedish and your dad is from Trinidad? Yeah, my mom's Swedish and my dad's from Trinidad. Any other athletes in your family? My dad, used to, my brother used to play basketball. Um, he used to play in Division II college, and then he played overseas. Okay. And who else recruited you out of high school? Um, a lot of schools, a lot of A-10 schools, um, some high majors like Maryland. And I, I got letters from Wake Forest, Miami, stuff like that. Why uh, Illinois State? Uh, they recruited me the best. They showed the best interest. Um, Coach Muller did a great job just recruiting me. And how would you describe your freshman season there? It was an up and down year for me since I was injured, but I think I learned a lot. Um, just being able to adjust to the college level, the speed and the physicality. So, yeah. How many national team experiences have you had with, with Sweden? The last time I played with the Swedish national team was when I was 16. So this is the second time. Okay. Uh, and how would you describe yourself as a player? Um, I'm pretty explosive. Um, I, can, I can get to my own shot. Um, I'm pretty good at passing at times. Where did that explosiveness come from? Hard work. Did you play any other sports growing up? Soccer. Soccer. What position? I can't remember. I was young. <laughs> okay. Was Do you know your height, weight, and wingspan? I'm 6'4". Um, I, 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 I think I'm 200 pounds. I don't know my, my wingspan. Okay. And what is the rest of the summer looking like for you? Just, just playing with the national team and then take it from there, go back to college. And what are some of the biggest areas you still want to improve? My decision making, um, just overall being a leader, I think, um, and then just uh, working on my change of pace. Sure. I, where did you play positionally last year? Combo, two and a one. Are you most comfortable on the ball? Yeah. Anyone you watch in the NBA that you like to study? Russell Westbrook and Damian Lillard. And what about off the court? Any non-basketball interests? Not really. Yeah, cool. And where do you see yourself five years from now? God willing in the NBA. Great. Well, thanks so much. Good luck to you.